Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. Today is Friday, the 15th day of March. It is Brutus Day. It is Buzzards Day. It's Dumbstruck Day. Ides of March. All of that happening. In addition to International Day Against Police Brutality. That should be every day. Yeah. International Redefining Wealth Day. National Egg Cream Day. National Everything You Think Is Wrong Day. National Pears Helene Day. National Shoe the World Day. Also, what else do we have here? National VO Day. I wonder if that's like for voiceovers, because that's what Sounds I... Sounds like it. Um, World Consumer Rights Day. World Contact Day. You wear contacts. I don't think I could do that. Oh, this it's is like not, as close as I get. I can't put my finger anywhere near my wouldn't eye. even phase you. Uh, I can't do it. And uh, <laughs> World Speech Day and many other things as well. And I'm excited to visit with my guest. He could absolutely have been on Movie Star Monday, but uh, Garrett Dillahunt. He's been on a bunch of TVs, and, uh, TV shows and movies, and he's in a new movie that I actually had a chance to watch. It's it's kind of a action-packed, I think is how you'd say it. Okay. Red Right Hand is the name of the film. We'll chat with him all about that coming up. Give yourself a I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows, you might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. You know how it is when you have a really busy day, nothing seems to be going right, and you swear you can just feel your hair turning gray. Well, scientists at North Carolina State say that uh, younger adults really can look older and feel older, especially on stressful days. Study authors collected data from 107 people between the ages of 18 and 36. The key finding was that on days when the study participants reported experiencing higher levels of stress than they do on normal days. They also reported looking and feeling older. Interestingly though, this was only true on days when they also reported feeling that they had less control over their lives than they normally did. Scientists say this tells us that the phenomenon of stress making people feel older is not limited to older adults. It could result in negative health condition or health outcomes rather long-term for anybody. Yeah. So. What they're trying to say is take a deep breath, slow down, and just get everything under control. Because it was only when you were not in control. Because like if you're saying, I want to do more stuff, that's different. But when you get stuff dumped on you and you're like, I got to do all these things. I got news for you. You're never in control. Oh, no. <laughs> I understand. But, you know, do things that you enjoy doing. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with InsuranceChicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from InsuranceChicken.com? That's InsuranceChicken.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know that a soft drink company is hiring what they call soda consultants to embark on an American adventure? Olipop, O-L-I-P-O-P, a trendy soda brand that offers a variety of flavors, says that their, quote, dream job alert uh, is looking for two real besties, great at creating content, and open to traveling to each city on their tour to share their love of soda. What do you think so far? That sounds like fun. The senior soda consultants will visit four cities across the U.S. with $10,000 allotted for each city. Wow. The perfect perfect candidates are the two best friends who can create content showcasing the cities they visit in and represent Olipop. Last year, the company received 90,000 applications from people who were interested in the role last year. So I didn't... I think it sounds like a blast. Yeah, but, you know, all that work, you know, four whole cities you have to go to... (laughs) Doesn't that seem like you a small number? You don't want to number? apply? I just think you go for it if you want. I've got a link to it in the, in the show notes if you're interested. John at HeidiShow.com. We are besties. But uh, I just think, why only four cities? Like, for, for what they're doing, why not do like 40 cities? If you're doing a tour, at least do a tour. I'm just saying. We don't know everything, but now we know this.
Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by InsuranceChicken.com. Get your swords ready, citizens of Westeros. The House of the Dragon returns for season two in June on HBO. I know a lot of folks were excited about that. Um, like the end of a slow-mo music montage on the beach, Baywatch reboot has found a new home. Fox announced they're going to develop a new version of the classic 90s beach romp. So that's kind of cool. Really? Housewives of Beverly Hills and Vanderpump Rules star and executive producer Lisa Vanderpump brings her restaurant expertise to season two of Fox's competition series, Gordon Ramsay's Food Stars. She'll be there in May. And chalk up one more thing Kate Hudson can do for decades. The actress and business uh, mogul and fitness mogul has delighted audience with a variety of projects. Her latest is singer-songwriter. Yeah, Really? Yeah. She's got a single called Talk About Love. So she said okay. she dropped it recently, Heidi. She huh. dropped it. She wasn't holding it and like it fell. She like put I, it, I understand. Put it I, on I, the, I, I am aware of the lingo. She put it on the interwebs is what she did. <laughs> okay. So there you go. I've got all of those stories in the show notes for today at John and Heidi Show dot com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. A study found that cats have a horrible short-term memory. <laughs> what, what kind of study How? was that? <laughs> and why? I don't know. Oh Either that gosh. or they just didn't want to participate in your stupid study. <laughs> I think that's far more I think more that's likely. probably more accurate. Have you met cats? You've met them, right? <laughs> yeah, they just didn't care what you were doing. <laughs> Um, do you have a hard time falling asleep sometimes, Heidi? Sometimes, yes. You are not alone, but this might help. They say try doing the exact opposite of what you've been doing. According to a TikTok trend, you should try not to sleep. Maybe even try keeping <laughs> your eyes open as long as you can. This counterintuitive technique known as paradoxical intention, uh, while you might be new to TikTok, uh, this whole thing is. Uh, it is tested method that is supported by science. And it's used to battle a bunch of different phobias and anxieties. Boils down to this. When it comes to trying to sleep, they say you should try to remain awake even during the night when you wake up. Try, try to stay awake, and then you'll, you'll fall asleep, okay. according to this. A professor of sleep medicine, Colin Espy, uh, at the University of Oxford, says this reverse intention may help you conquer the involuntary process of falling asleep. More tips, including going to bed when you're sleepy and not before. Instead of closing your eyes, keep them open. You should notice that eventually this becomes harder and harder. And instead of battling your, to fall asleep, you're fighting to keep your eyes open. It's like reverse psychology, like yeah. with kids. Don't eat all your vegetables. Yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. So this whole uh, fighting to keep your eyes open, it's like me watching TV in the evenings. <laughs> and there's so many movies. I've Every seen the beginning. Every single time. I've seen the beginning of the movie, and I'm like, uh -huh. oh, we should watch this. And Heidi's like, we watched that. I'm like, I don't remember that. She goes, yeah, you fell asleep two minutes in. Every time. I'm like, was it good? <laughs> did, I, did I like it? <laughs> Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Thank you so much for listening to the John Ed Heidi Show. Super excited to visit with Garrett Dillahunt. You see him in so many great programs, and I was telling him a little bit ahead of time, Garrett, I love Sprung on Freebie. That was such a fun show to watch. I bet that was fun to film as well. Oh, man, it was it was a highlight of my life, uh, and I'm really happy and thankful that you watched it. It's the first uh, thing I've ever produced. Well, it was neat. In addition to that, you've been in so many other fun projects, and you got a new one out right now, Red Right Hand. Let's talk a little bit about this and, and kind of tell folks maybe they haven't seen anything about it. What is this film about? Well, this is a thriller. It's kind of a throwback, in my mind, to the very fun popcorn revenge flicks from the 70s and 80s that I, I grew up on. Yeah. 
I keep saying it's me and Orlando Bloom doing some hillbilly on hillbilly crime <laughs> uh, in in Kentucky, and it's what, what we do. We're just, we're a couple of guys, pretty checkered past. I, I found my way out of the bad crowd through religion and become this weird sort of small town preacher. But you know, I still got some rough edges. I haven't conquered my rage problem or some other things. And whatever happens in this movie requires us to go and handle it ourselves. And so. That's what we do. There's a local drug kingpin that Andy McDowell plays, and she's bad news, and looks like it's up to us because the local law enforcement is on the take. we got a lot of classic tropes that we have illuminated in a new way that's very fun to watch. I love that. And what was it like to work with Andy McDowell? She always seems to be such a wholesome, fun character, and you guys have her as the bad guy. Yeah, I think they were hoping that, you know, that, that that's a stretch. It's, it's an odd, you know, subversion of expectations there. But she's great. You know, she's the sweetest thing. She's got this great, beautiful rope of, you know, salt and pepper hair that braids down her back and swings that around. And she's got this great accent. And it was great. It was great to have her as the boss. It was an inspired bit of casting, I think. And again, the film is called Red Right Hand. Red Right Hand. I've got a link to the trailer for folks to see it. And and where can we go to find this? It's It says it's uh, in theaters and on digital. So where do we find it on That's digital? Right. You know, no one gave me a list of the actual platforms, but I think it's going to be the usual suspects. You know, right. It's going to be pay-per-view at first, obviously. And... Uh, I hope people check it out and find it. There you go. And I'll do my best to, to steer them in the right direction. I'll find it and throw a link to it to make it really, really easy. And it's it's amazing to me now, you know, just like this, in theaters and digital, like 10 years ago, that was impossible. Like we didn't even have digital, wasn't even really an option. And, and it, as it first started coming out, you know, things wouldn't get released to digital. It would eventually get there. Mm -hmm. But like with yeah. your program Sprung, all of a sudden, I just saw that one day. I'm like, what is this? And I watched it. I fell in love with it. And I would love to see, you know, more seasons of that, honestly. It was just so much fun. But it was... Uh, well, I would, I would too. But it, you, you've kind of put your finger on one of the problems is, you know, it's, the, it, there's a great that we have so many choices, but the, the money-making model on streaming yeah. depends on subscribers. And oh. like you say, with Sprung, the Sprung was a hit. You know, we were reviewed really well. I'm very proud of it. Uh, but... We've brought in the subscribers we're going to bring in. So everyone's clamoring for a season two. And we just, they, they just told us we, we're not going to do another season two. Thank you. Wow. Uh, despite everything. And, you know, so we hold on for three years and you wait for that news. Yeah. Uh, doing other projects. Cause, uh, but it's, it's a real interesting riddle we need to solve because on their end, it's, there's no reasons that there's no way they can make any more money on it because they feel they've made it. So now mm. it's just an outlay. So it's, it's a weird double-edged sword. So if we get if we get enough people finding Sprung and falling in love, I'll get my second season and so will you, right? <laughs> I guess so, you know. They well, better find it quick, but it's been great. And, and the cool thing is, even if it's not another season of that, I think that the magic was you had a great cast and you had a fun idea mm -hmm. and, and just the way you guys put it together. So it wouldn't even need to be another season of that, but I think if you could have uh, you know another, another version of something, it was just a magical team. You guys did a great job together. Oh, I, I really appreciate that. It's the same team on that we work together on raising hope. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I just thought after after the lockdown, everyone, you know, we just want something to make people feel good. Yeah. And I think we made that. We had an idea the second season we were going to rig an election. So that was <laughs> <laughs> we're See, ready to go if we they change it. their mind. <laughs> well, Garrett, <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time to chat and right. I'm sorry, keep wanting to say right red hand. Red Right Hand. It's available now on streaming and available uh, uh, in theaters. Thank you so much for the Correct. time today. I appreciate it, sir. Thanks for talking to me. You're Absolutely. great. Absolutely. Again, uh, I'm going to throw a link to make it easy to find in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Your funny bone is not a bone at all. It's actually a nerve. 
oh, that's interesting. Why don't they call it a funny nerf? <laughs> <laughs> don't know. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Mulan has the highest kill count of any Disney character, including villains. Wow. That's good to know. That's, and Mulan's the good guy. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? 79% of pet owners sleep with their pets. Yeah. And I think what they mean is the pet sleeps in the same bed as them. So don't think it was being naughty. That's not what that meant at all. I don't know that anybody was I'm thinking I'm just that. saying. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Even though smoking is banned there, ashtrays are mandatory on every airplane. This is for safe disposal in case somebody breaks the law. Oh, that's good to okay. know. Okay. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Pineapples are named after pine cones thanks to the similarity of the spiky outer skin. Oh, yeah. Well, there I get that. You go. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurance? insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. 23% of people who have quit their job did this first. What is it? They called somebody. Who did they call before they quit their job? Their spouse. No, their mama. Yeah, 23% of people called mom. I should have known that. My before. daughter has how many? <laughs> yeah. There have been several times. Mom, what should I do? Yeah. She doesn't call dad because dad would say, tough it out. Come on, you can do this. (laughs) Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A high school in Kentucky was evacuated. There was somebody that was trying to pull a prank. Police say shortly after 11 a.m., school officials began getting reports of a strong gas odor inside the school. The scent prompted officials to evacuate students and faculty from the building. The fire department used uh, equipment to clear the odor. Students returned to class. Detectives later determined the cause of the odor was not a gas leak. It was not, you know, some horrible thing. It wasn't a broken sewer line. It was a non-toxic, concentrated liquid product advertised online for pranks on a spray can. The school described it as a, a spray, we'll just say. And uh, anyway, somebody brought that to school to pull a prank, ended up getting the entire school evacuated. Yikes. It does not say in the story if anybody came forward and said that was me, but I got a feeling. I bet nobody has come <laughs> forward, no. Yeah, I got a feeling it's probably not great if they do. Weird News, brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Mind-blowing psychology facts. We started this yesterday. Catching a yawn shows empathy. You're more likely to yawn when you see somebody else yawn if you have high levels of empathy. Women have twice as many pain receptors as men. Wow, that's not very fair for you guys, is it? Um, inte- really? Because I feel like I have a much higher pain tolerance That's nah, just because you. you're tough. Intelligent people tend to have fewer friends. I have a lot of friends. What does that mean about me? <laughs> Here I am over here with half as many pain receptors, but this still hurts. Bilingual people change their personalities depending on what language you're speaking. Oh, I could see that. Okay. Um, the happier you are, the less sleep you need. Well, that's why I don't need much sleep. <laughs> and our final one, people having having uh, have dreaming sensations at the moment of death. It's like their life flashing before yeah, their eyes. Yeah, I've heard, heard about of. that. So, that is the list. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. 
That's 800-310-5831. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today is from Oscar Wilde. He was a wily little guy, wasn't he? Here's what he says. (laughs) The only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. That is true. So, Very true, yeah. especially for famous people. Yeah, I they suppose. get all irritated when people are following around talking about it, and then oh, yeah. as soon as they stop, it's we like, learned that in 2020 when like the, the yeah. whole world stopped for celebrities, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Hey, look at me! I'm yeah. on YouTube. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing jumping jacks on TikTok. Don't look forget at this. me! <laughs> don't forget me!" And over there dancing, gets a little cold in the shadows. <laughs> Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of InsuranceChicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. I think this is adorable. It's good news. Comes your way courtesy of Genesis Gold, IRA.com from Worcester, Massachusetts. We have this story right here. March Meowness Public Library comes up with a genius solution for unpaid dues. I think this is neat. In a feline friendly initiative, that's taking this town by storm, the library has introduced March Meowness, Felines for Fee Forgiveness. It's an innovative program, not only to put smiles on the faces of the library patrons, but also to turn cat pictures into currency for fee forgiveness. Concept was delightful, as it sounds. If you find yourself facing an overdue overdue fee uh, or maybe a lost or damaged book fee at this library, all... You need to do to clean the slate is snap a photo of your cat. What if you don't the, have a cat? Well, snap a photo of somebody else's cat. The <laughs> library took to Facebook announcing the heartwarming campaign. Today is the day we got one month of fee forgiveness for lost or damaged items. Show us a picture of your cat, a famous cat, a picture you drew of a cat, any cat, and we'll forgive your fees. Okay, so it doesn't have to okay. be those. The response was nothing short of astounding. Cat lovers and library patrons enthusiastically shared snapshots of their furry friends to reclaim their library privileges. The library staff has been inundated with hundreds of cat photos, and they got a delightful collage now that adorns a dedicated wall in the library. It says the success of March Meowness goes beyond the forgiveness of library fees. It highlights the power of community engagement and the ability to share interests, in this case, the affection for cats to bring people together. The library has transformed a potentially mundane administrative task into an opportunity for connection, laughter, and a shared appreciation for our feline companions. Here's the way they could have made that even one little step better. If they could have said, hey, make a donation to this cat organization and we'll wipe it away. Like, why the photo of a cat? I understand you get to put them on your wall, but wouldn't it be cool if they said, hey, this group over here needs money? We're going to wipe away your dues if you make a donation to this cat group. I don't know. Just John thinking out loud over here. <laughs> it's still a cool story, though. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show.